This is Eyewitness News, the news leader. Thanks for staying with us. Halloween is this Friday, and it's followed by a holiday on November 1st and 2nd that Mexico celebrates called Day of the Dead. Joining us to explain it and show us some fun food that's actually made for Day of the Dead is Ivy Stark, executive chef from Dos Caminos. Yes. You guys have, you have two locations in Manhattan and one in Soho, right? Yes. All right, good time. And one in Las Vegas. Right? Oh, that's yeah. fun. Yes. That's a good time. Thanks for coming in, Ivy. Thank you. All right, so, so this holiday is what? It's about what? It is about celebrating um, departed loved ones. Uh, in Mexico, um, on November 1st, um, everyone goes to the cemetery and has a big celebration with food and all night long partying to celebrate um, their... Because they think the dead are coming back. departed souls come visit them one time a year. That's wild. All right, yeah. cool. All right, what are we making? We're going to make some hot chocolate. Okay, put chocolate, me to work. Chocolate atole. So I have some milk in here already, and this is cocoa powder. Okay. Sugar. I'm adding Mexican chocolate, special ground with sugar. Okay. Right there. Now, you don't have to do that over a double boiler and melt that down first no, before you throw it you in? you can just throw just it. In fact, in Mexico, they do it straight in the pitcher, right okay. on the burner. Um, this what makes it special. This is maseca, which is a little bit of corn masa to thicken it. Oh, okay. Uh, makes it a little bit extra rich. They have this often for breakfast. Um, so you can't use cornstarch? No, I wouldn't use cornstarch. Right. <laughs> Sometimes I substitute <laughs> things and it doesn't turn out so well. What's that? What is, what is that? This is vanilla paste. Okay. Um, this is something we buy at the restaurant, but you could use just vanilla extract. Now, is this a dessert a by cinnamon. itself, or is this something? It could be a dessert by itself. Um, it's generally eaten for breakfast and for special occasions like Day of the Dead. Okay, gotcha. So, now we're this gonna whisk it till it's all combined. Let it cook a little bit until it's thickened slightly. Okay. Alrighty. And then it comes out like this. And, and um, in Mexico, they use this beautiful wooden uh, molinillo. That is gorgeous. It's a wooden whisk to mix it. Froth it up a little bit? Froth it up a little bit. Now, is it served hot? It is served hot. And is that, what is that, whipped cream? This is mezcal whipped cream. Mm -hmm. Yummy. No yeah. calories there. No, not at all. So is it, oh, is it a little working. bit spicy or is it, what gives it the extra kind of flavor of the holiday? It's the um, Mexican chocolate. It's very okay. special. Oh, yeah. All right. What's the best thing to order at your restaurant? Oh, it's not working for some reason. That's all right. What is the best thing? I'll break it here. It's the, <laughs> <laughs> it's the uh, grilled skirt steak with borracho beans. It's my favorite. Yeah. All righty. Are we done cooking? Or what's no, this? we're making some tamales. All right, what tamales else? Let's are get to that fast. Okay. Tamales are also a holiday special. In the steamer here, I have a tamale. I've taken some corn masa, mm -hmm. mixed it with some cream corn. Um, poblano peppers, lard, it's not bad for you. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, some corn, some poblano peppers. I wrap it up in the corn husk. Uh -huh. We put it in the steamer. You could use a colander, inverted colander. Okay. And then we're going to cover it with foil. You can oh, put okay, the top sorry. on. Yeah. We're going to cover it with foil. You put a coin in the bottom, and when the coin rattles, you may need to add some more water. But they need to steam for about an hour. And what comes out is a lovely tamale like this. Uh -huh. And we're just going to serve it. We're serving it with mole, which is also a very um, traditional holiday. So good. Yes. Mole sauce. But that's a whole other class. I, Actually, I thought you were going for more chocolate. I was like, yes. <laughs> well, there's a little chocolate in there. <laughs> I know. And so a little good. Crema. Dos Caminos. Ivy, we got to go. Okay. Well, thanks so much. Thank you. Looks so yummy. Thank you. This is all in big trouble once we go to commercial. <laughs> thanks a lot. For the recipes we just went flying through, you can go to our website, 7online.com. We'll give you all the details and the measurements and everything, all that good stuff.